Hello and welcome to Catalyze Music Academy. My name is Zach Kersetter. I'm an Ableton certified trainer. And for today's quick tip, I want to talk a little bit about drum racks and choke groups and how you can use them to get a little bit more control over exactly how your drums are sounding. So before we dive into that, I do want to let you know if you are enjoying the content on the channel, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. It is very helpful for me. So diving into it, uh, generally, if I have a drum sound, I got two hi-hats here, like this, like this. If I play both at the same time, I just hear both at the same time. However, when you are actually playing a drum set, if you have a physical drum set in front of you, you cannot play an open hi-hat and a closed hi-hat at the same time. It's the same thing. So if you play an open hi-hat and play a closed hi-hat, it mutes the open hi-hat. They kind of cancel each other out. So if we want to recreate a, situa a situation like this, we can do so using something called choke groups, which are built into your drum rack device. So to access this, we're going to hit this button down here. This is our chain area. And once we do that, we get a few extra options down here, including an, I, an IO button. When I open this up, it gives me options for things like uh, play, receive, and choke right here. So what we have are these two hi-hats. And we can see we can select any one of 16 different choke groups. So if two separate sounds are in the same choke group, so if I select choke group one for both of these, they are now connected together and they will mute each other. So if you play one and then play the other, only the most recent one will play. So now if I play that hi-hat, when I play the open hi-hat first and then place the close hi-hat, close hi-hat, it mutes it, which makes it behave a little bit more like it would if you were actually playing a drum set together. So it kind of like takes multiple sounds and makes them connected together and makes them essentially monophonic with each other, which is pretty handy. Uh, as you saw, there are 16 different show groups, so you can connect all kinds of different sounds together. And only if they're in the same choke group will they connect it whatsoever. So these sounds over here do not have a choke group, so they will not affect the hi-hats in any way in terms of muting each other. Another situation where this could be really, really useful is, uh, in addition to just hi-hats, is using something like 808s. So here I've got a couple different 808s. It's the same 808, it's just tuned differently. Like that. Uh, so I might be able to want to be able to jump back and forth between different pitches for my 808s. However, when I play multiple notes at the same time, it doesn't sound so good. I don't, I, don't, I don't want them to overlap. I only want one at a time. So what we could do with these guys is hold down shift to select all of them at the same time. And we're going to put them in choke group number two. Now, these are all connected together. So if I play one and then the other, we only get one at a time. Uh, so really great for sounds like this, uh, big kind of like tuned 808s. If you have them multiple, uh, multiple of those in the same drum rack, you can have them mute each other and again, essentially be monophonic with each other. But that's kind of the concept here. It's not something you'll probably end up using every single day when it comes to your drum production, but in certain situations, this can be really, really handy. And if you want to build really big, complex drum racks and have different sounds connected together, you have up to 16 different show groups that you can utilize when building out your drum racks. So that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed watching that. Hopefully that was helpful for you. And I hopefully will see you again soon. Thanks for watching.